If you're bored like I am at the end of a hard day of work, why don't you join me for a couple of chores that I'm gonna be doing in the garage. The first chore is replacing these wiper blades. I always like to stick with OEM because yes, you pay a bit of a premium, but the fit and finish is always absolutely perfect. In case you wonder, the passenger side wiper blade is actually longer than the driver's side, which is completely different from what you get in most vehicles. Usually the driver's side is the longest one and the passenger side is the shortest one. If you know me, you know that I drive my car 365 and my cars do get dirty. As you can tell here, my floor mats are absolutely filthy. So these are OEM rubber floor mats that I have in the M3. And what's cool about them is when you want to wash them, you just take them out, rinse them, and they're as good as new. That's why for the Porsche, I decided to also buy OEM rubber floor mats, which will make cleaning a lot easier. So these were my original ones. Yes, they're pretty filthy. Even though I washed them, they just never washed fine. And these are the new rubber ones. Super, super cool. They look pretty awesome. And you've got a Porsche logo just in case you forget where you're driving. I'm gonna let you in a little secret. This is the scent that I use in my car. So I don't use anything fancy. I use black ice. It smells good. I usually keep it somewhere, either under the floor mat or somewhere on the side and it makes the car smell absolutely fantastic. A lot of times I just stand there and appreciate the beauty of these cars, seriously. Uh, sometimes I can find myself standing for 10, 15 minutes just looking and noticing sort of the things that I didn't notice in the past. I'm gonna show you something in the trunk. So when I open actually the frunk, if you will, you open the frunk and you're greeted with this piece of plastic, but then there's this felt this this trunk liner that just popped off i don't know what the deal is so let's try to figure it out and see if we can fix it let's take these plastics out all right does this go under the weather stripping uh, do we want to rip out the weather stripping i wonder if this rolls under the weather stripping hmm. did i just tuck it in huh maybe it just needed to be Tucked in. You want to see what's inside here? Here, let me show you. Okay, so you've got your, what appears to be a cabin air filter down there. That's your battery. Uh, here, I just noticed we have a flat fix kit. I actually wonder what happens if I get a flat tire. I do carry my fix a flat in the trunk, but look at this. There's a little compressor. It's never been used, but what I do is I am gonna carry something else so check this out when i do go on uh, longer journeys i carry this pump that plugs into the 12 volt uh, socket and i also carry this check this out this fix a flat kit and i've got to say i've used it twice already i actually made a video on it i'm going to show it to you i'm going to link it in the description maybe above or below uh, to show you how easy it is to fix it but this thing already saved me twice. Anyways, let's stick it on this side. So this is your brake booster. This is where you uh, fill in your brake fluid. We're gonna be doing a brake fluid uh, change DIY. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Check it out. Look at the wiper blade mechanism. It's all exposed. How cool is that? Uh, look, this is your horn. So if you wanna replace your horn and, and pimp it out, this is, uh, this is the way to do it. Your ABS module here. Uh, this is how my struts are connected. Everything is shifted this way. That means I've got as much negative camber as possible. And yes, this is exactly what we wanted. But yeah, other than that, it's a very sort of clean front. Oh, look at this. So I've got my toe hook. And uh, what would this be? Ugh, I'm a tool set. Okay, and what's over here? Uh, ah, look at this. <laughs> this is your fixer flat. Obviously, we're not going to be using it because we want to keep things original. But how clever is that? This, this really bugs me, so I've got to clean it. I did order a plastic tr uh, trim preserver. The stuff that the guy used here. So I'm going to be dressing up some of these plastics, even though no one sees them. But I see them, and it sort of bugs me. I like to keep my 
plastics clean. Okay, let's put this plastic back in. It's always a pain in the neck. Then you take the rubber stripping and you put it over. Yeah, this is holding well. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get double-sided tape and fix it. Check this out, this is what I found. I don't know what project I used it for, or wanted to use it for, but I wonder if I can use it to glue the liner back in. Okay, so this is this crazy powerful double-sided tape that I purchased when I wanted to make a video on sticking my MagSafe charger in random places all over the house. That never worked out, but you've got this tape. Oh, cool. So let's stick it somewhere on the inside and it's double-sided, so I hope it sticks to the liner. Okay, so the backing is off. Let's clip it in place. Clip it, clip it, clip it. Okay. Okay. Not bad at all. Look, and look how, this tape is amazing because it's super flexible, so it molds to any shape and it's super strong. And wow, this I'm definitely gonna link in the description. Holy moly, look at this. And let's give some love to the E39. If you're new to the channel, you missed the videos, this is my 18,000 mile E39 that I purchased a couple of months ago with the intent of, uh, this is a 540i, uh, of swapping it to manual but after realizing how absolutely perfect it is, it's perfectly preserved. It is the most perfect, I kid you not, E39 you will ever see nowadays. I've decided that I don't wanna keep it. I want someone else to enjoy it. So I'm gonna put it up and bring a trailer. So I had it fully detailed. The car is a bit dusty, so I have to, I have to wipe some of the dust because it's been sitting in the garage. But in my possession, I've driven it maybe 12 miles or so. So it doesn't get driven. It, it drives very, very well, but I just didn't want to put extra miles on it. I wanted to preserve it. And hopefully it'll, you know, it'll do fairly well on uh, Bring a Trailer. I'm gonna let you know when this goes on Bring a Trailer, but uh, these things, I love my stable. I absolutely love my stable. So come on, which is a nicer color? I've got to say, I've never been a fan of black, but clean black looks very nice. I know black, as soon as it gets dirty, looks awful. The blue, on the other hand, it's on another level. I love this Yasmina blue. This car gets so many looks, and people comment on this car all the time. So I've got a bit of a blue, got a bit of a black, and this blue. I think, if I were to pick, I've gotta say this blue, this is Montreal blue, is my favorite. There's just something about it. It's, it's cool, it's exotic looking, but it's not over the top. So if I could have my M3 in that color, that would be awesome. Uh, gonna test these floor mats uh, just to see. I've gotta say, these manual seats are fantastic. Very cool. Seriously, I love this thing. I mean, I love my M M3 but this is on another level. The, the seating position, the shifter, uh, the steering wheel, even though this is the old steering wheel, I, I really, uh, initially I was tempted to, uh, to upgrade it, but I wanna keep it as period authentic, or period specific, period correct, period correct, as possible, because, I mean, it's, it doesn't look ugly at all. It actually fits the car very well, especially with, uh, with all, the, all the chrome trim and, Ah, oh, this shifter, it's something you have to experience. So that's what I do sometimes after a hard day of work. I just come here and, and sit. I don't even have to go for a drive. I just sit here and sort of relax, decompress, think about all the things that I, that I wanna do to the car. Uh, think about all the things I don't have the time for. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, I don't wanna bore you too much. Thanks for joining me on this journey. And you know what, if you, if you like this stuff, let me know and I can take you on more journeys with me. I feel like I'm with somebody, so I'm not just experiencing it by myself. Uh, if, if you wanna do it, let me know down in the comments. Uh, otherwise, I will 
see you in the next video. Bye-bye.